Welcome to this week's session with the Putnam County District Library and the Guiding Ohio Online Grant. This week we're looking at another Google tool and that this week it is Google Meet. Google Meet actually became available in May of 2020 for um, everyone. Prior to that, it was uh, part of what was referred to as the Google Suite, which would be different businesses or schools that would um, have a Google account for everyone that's part of the organization, and um, then it would be shared out. Now, anyone with any type of a Google account, it's available for them. It's a video conferencing tool. It does replace Google Hangouts. It doesn't require any installation of any kind, and it just runs in your web browser. The other uh, nice thing with Google Meet is, is the presenter would have a Google account. However, others could join a Google Meet and would not have to have a Google account at all. So when you go to uh, Google Meet, the web address is meet.google.com. So I'm going to jump out of the presentation here that I had made, and we're going to go to an actual login for Google Meet. Looks the same as that last slide that I had shown you. What you will see here is you see your buttons for a new meeting as well as enter a code or a link. And then um, the only the other option would be is your uh, settings are up here at the top. What I want to make note of is this, I can click here on the settings and I'm going to see this is where my audio and my video are um, the settings for. But this also will be available back in when we actually um, go to the new meeting location here. We have, um, and you actually log in, you can get to settings there as well. So I'm going to show those later. As I said earlier, you don't have to have an account to actually join a meeting. So that's where this get a meeting link to share would come into play. So if I go on this link here, I get this is the actual link that you would either send in an email or um, text, however you would allow, you know, get that information out to people. And then what they would do is they would go to meet.google.com and simply take this link and they would put it in here for the um, link code. So I'm going to go back to new meeting again and show you. You could do the same thing if I go to schedule in a Google Calendar. And this, I click on Google Calendar, it's going to jump to my calendars. And this is where I would be able to paste in that information for the Google um, link as well. So I'm going to go to new meeting and actually start a meeting now. Now, when I talked about those uh, settings, that's this is where we're going to, if you go up here to the top, you see where more options are. And that's the, some of the same um, settings that we can change and adjust. Something new that's been added is this background. Notice you can see my background. You can see the uh, fun drawings and paintings for my grandchildren. But if I click here, I can turn on and I can actually blur my background. So all of those things are not going to show. Here is where my microphone is that I can turn on and off. Now I have my microphone. It did not come up with uh, asking permission to use my microphone because I have used this in the past. If it's the first time, you might have to grant permissions for your microphone as well as for your camera. Notice as, I, as I'm talking over here is where my microphone's going. If I click on this, I'm going to continue and you can see, obviously you can see my mouth was moving. I was talking, but there was no sound coming across. My bars weren't moving. Same thing with my camera. 
I can turn my camera off and I can turn my camera back on. I did get this warning. If you blur the background, that can um, slow, to, slow down your uh, video. So you do want to keep that in mind because that's where some of these settings come into play. If I click here on my settings, this is where, remember this gear that I showed on the screen before that I said would be available again? Well, here are my settings. And this is where those same settings are for my audio as well as my video. So if I actually am doing um, some video recording somewhere that maybe I have slow internet connection, video is the first thing that uh, will have a tendency to jump and drop. Audio will um, continue running at a slower speed. So this is where if I clicked on video, I can actually change um, my resolutions and slow things down if I would want to. So I'm going to go back here and I am now going to actually join a meeting. So when I click here on join now, I'm joining this meeting here with this link. I click on join now. I can send this out to other individuals. Again, I'm being told what my link is. I can click here and I could add people who would be part of um, my address book that I might have. I'm not going to add anyone to this meeting at this time, so I'm just going to simply click here, close that up. Sorry, you get the close up view here. I can actually go here and I can pin whatever is up here at this location. Would if I click on this, I am pinned now. Let's see, I am not pinned. So if I would want, I Obvious, I'm pinned because I'm the presenter, but I could change that and I could pin a different individual if I wanted to. If I go to um, chat, this brings up my sidebar and I have the different people that would be part of my uh, video conference here and I would have the ability to talk and chat with them and I can do, every, I could chat with everyone or I could just select one or two individuals. Same thing here. If I click on show everyone, this is where my screen comes up and anybody that is part of my chat and I can individually add someone here as well. I'm going to move this up to get out of my recording screen down here. If I turn on um, captions, that is, this is a feature that is available that you do not see in all video conferencing. So if I click on turn on captions, as I am talking, it's going to record everything that I'm saying. And it does seem like that the captions does a very good job of keeping track of the words that I say. So that's what you see when you see captions turned on. I'm going to turn captions back off. I'm going to go here to present now. What this does is I can present my entire screen. I could just present a window or I could do a tab. So if I were to go to, say, I want to present a tab, I come up, these are the different options I would come up with. So I'm going to just simply click here on Welcome to Putnam County District Library and share that. So then what happens is, as you can see, the library page comes up. And so if I wanted to um, share this and talk about something that's on the page, Notice that uh, we were closed on Columbus Day and all that information would be available. I'm going to click at stop and so that I'm no longer sharing that tab. I'll go back here to my actual um, Google Meet and I'm going to go to more options over here on the side. And this is where I have the ability for a whiteboard. I can change the layout. 
I can go full screen. I can I hit escape. I'm going to go out of my full screen. I can actually um, turn off my blur here as well. I can turn on my captions. And then the last thing here is to really talk about is the fact that um, you do have the ability with uh, Google Meet to, if you go over here to uh, meeting details, I can see the, um, again, the link to join, but this is where my options are for attachments. So if I had um, sent a Google Calendar out and I had maybe um, an agenda that I wanted to send, I would send that along with it. And then this would, I would have my attachment listed here and I would be able to share that, talk about that and go through that. And everyone would have that available to them then. So that is uh, Google Meet. Very simple to use. Um, and like I said, it's available to everyone now. So I hope you've enjoyed this week's session. Next week's session will be on Google Jamboard. Have a good week.